Hey guys, Rick from Alloy Personal Training Solutions again, back with Andrea and we're going to demonstrate for you what may seem like the most boring and easy exercise to perform in the world, which is a plank, but it's not. And here's how you should be coaching it for your clients for them to get the most out of it. So we'll demonstrate a regular plank on your toes. So Andrea, come up in your clothes. Now, from here, there's some, some little subtle cues that you can give clients that will make this exercise so much more effective. First of all, make sure the quads are completely tight. So have them, it's almost like they drive their shins towards the floor, and this sounds kind of weird, but then they're going to drive their quads back against their shins, because I want this total tension all the way down the legs so the quads are tight. Next is, are their glutes fired? And you think, what do the glutes have to do with the, with the uh, plank? But man, I'm telling you, it's a great core stabilizer, right? So we're going to almost tuck a little bit underneath, right? So a little bit of spinal flexion on this is not bad. Now what's going on at the elbows? If we have our clients set up here, what I want you to cue them to do is to think about pulling their elbows towards their knees, keeping that strong posture, but let's create maximal tension on this by shoving our elbows down. So it's almost like we're pulling almost into the old school crunch position while everything else is super tense. So the goal here, if you do this right, should be about 30 to 60 seconds, even for us, right? Even for you as a coach, you gotta create that maximal tension. So again, thanks. So that's just a basic plank, but that's the way we should be coaching it to get the most out of it. You can sit there in this kind of broken down horse posture and hang out all day, or you can do the plank ride and get the most out of it in 30 to 60 seconds. So coach it that way, enjoy it, you guys, and we'll see you next time.